How's it going guys? It's time for another video on our Xbox Ambassador series. If you'd like to know more about the Xbox Ambassador program, be sure to go to community.xbox.com slash ambassadors. Link, of course, will be in the description box below. Now, today we're going to be talking about how to use your family settings on Xbox One. Previously, I did a video on how to manage your privacy and online safety settings from an Xbox One console. Um, today, we're going to be focusing specifically on if you're the adult account and you have a child account attached to your account, how to edit their settings online as well as grant permissions if you're allowing them to purchase content that is above the rating set in their defaults. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so you're going to want to go to account.xbox.com slash settings. And once you're there, you'll see privacy and online safety settings. Obviously, very similar content to what we talked about in the videos on how to manage your privacy and online safety settings directly from the Xbox One or Xbox 360 console. So if you scroll down, very familiar settings. Now, highlighted here in green is Chaotic Union, which is my account. And right next to that is Stewie Fox 4802650, which is the account that I set up, the child account that I set up specifically for the purposes of this video. So we're going to select that. And then since we're talking about Xbox One, one will select Xbox One online safety. Now, if you scroll down, I'll see very self-explanatory settings here. Um, you can go through and decide whether to allow or block them, such as, for example, whether or not to allow the ability to um, add Xbox Live friends on Xbox One. You can block or allow that. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see buying download. Now, this is where you decide what content to allow to be bought or downloaded onto the Xbox One console. Now, you can select anything, uh, only free content or nothing at all. And this is a really cool way to uh, prevent unauthorized purchases. And so for the purposes of this video, we'll leave it at nothing. Uh, and then you can scroll down, obviously, and see other settings, such as whether to allow or block the broadcasting of the gameplay. So once you're done deciding on all of the options for these settings, you're going to want to select save. And just like that, all the settings are now saved for this account. OK, so from there, we're going to walk you through a few more ways in which you can edit the online safety settings for the child account that we have set up. So from anywhere on the dashboard, double tap the Xbox guide button on your controller, scroll down to the settings icon and select all settings. From here, an account, you're going to scroll over and down to family. And then here you'll see a list of the different child accounts that you may have set up in your family. Here again, we have Stewie Fox 4802650. So we're going to select that. Then scroll over to access to content. Now here you see the access to content that we have for the child account is now unrestricted. But let's say the child on the account is only 10 years old. We're going to scroll down to that age of 10 and select it. All right, so from here, you'll see the max rating for each of these different kinds of content that this child account will be able to access. So that's an ESRB rating of E10 for games, PG for movies, TVPG for television programming, zero plus for music, and seven plus for apps. Now let's take a look at this in action. So if we sign into the child account by going here and signing in, now once that account is signed in, let's try and launch Halo 5, which has an ESRB rating of T, which is higher than the E10 plus rating that we have set as the max. So once you try and launch that game, it will ask you to give permission. It will ask you for an account. So since Chaotic Union here is the adult account, I'll select Chaotic Union. And then I'll be asked to sign in. All right. So once the adult account is signed in, it will ask you how often you want to allow the child account to be able to play this game. In this case, Halo 5 Guardian. So I can choose always, which will always allow them to play Halo 5 Guardians, regardless of any content restrictions set in place, or just this once, which will allow them to only play this game through the time that they sign out. So I'll select always. And just like that, I was able to grant access to this child account to play Halo 5, a game that is rated above the max content restriction for this account without having to change that setting for all games above the restriction. And this is the same for music, movies, TVs, and apps. All right, guys, if this video helped you out in any way, be sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you'd like more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.